Hey there, Dennis Cortez here. I'm a designer who codes, teaches, and makes music. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over ways that you can improve how you present your design work so that you can do it justice and really put yourself in a good spot for when you're pitching to clients or maybe attracting recruiters or what have you be it. And if you really wanna help out the channel, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Making design work is one thing in my opinion, but I think it's a whole other perspective when you're actually presenting that design work and how you actually show it on the internet, how people are coming across it, and the way that it's presented in those places. So even though the dribbleization of design nowadays is very frustrating, I think it really goes to show how important it is to mock up and present your designs in a great way without actually sacrificing any of the clarity. So for example, here on my website, I try and do a great job of actually presenting some of the work that I show here. So uh, I try to just have it in a clean way, maybe add some interesting visuals and extras to it. And being able to have people, you know, come across it and really like the work. And it just has like a different perspective if I was just to place, you know, like big blurry images that are on the site without any maybe accents or shadows or gradients or anything like that. So. I try and do my best to actually present my work a bit differently and it's actually been really beneficial to me. So I want to talk through a bit of my thought process around actually presenting some of this work. So first of all, this can actually really help you no matter what your goal is. Like I said before, whether you're attracting clients, trying to help when applying to roles. So if a recruiter is reaching out, looking at your website, if you're sending your portfolio in, this really goes a long way. It also helps boost your credibility when you're selling a product or a service. So for example, the icons that I make for iPhones, I try and do a great job of actually presenting this work when I'm posting on Dribbble, posting on social media to actually attract others to purchase it. So it goes a long way with that credibility. And then finally is gaining more views and traction. So as frustrating as it is nowadays, it's really crucial to actually get eyes and visual on your work and get people to actually be interested and enticed to click through and maybe look at something that you're trying to promote, for example. Also, just a quick plug, if you didn't know, I actually have a Patreon where I post some early videos, behind the scenes, some design resources, and even Q and A's. So if there's any questions you had for me, you can go ahead and ask me there. And it's a lot easier for me to get back to you. So if you're interested in checking that out, uh, it's at patreon.com slash and it starts at just a dollar. And then also I make music. So at cortez.us slash music, you'll find a lot of music that is instrumental beat music. I'm also working on an ambient album that I'm super excited for to put out for you all. So feel free to take a look there. And there's also links in the description for both of those if you're interested. So when it comes to presenting this work and the thought process behind it, how do I actually think about this? And what is the way that you can actually apply this to your own work? First of all, I try to think about what is the look and feel that I'm wanting for this. So so do I want like a realistic mock-up? Do I want a light background or a dark background? Is there some sort of color that maybe fits with the branding or the vision of that product that I'm working on and how I'm presenting that can really go a long way. If you're not sure like the vibe and the look and feel that you're going for, I really suggest just looking on inspiration sites. So Dribble, of course, Pinterest, Arena, sites like that. You can find a ton of inspiration for how they actually use color. Um, and maybe like the look and feel that you're going for based on the product or app that you're working on and presenting. I would also suggest trying to add extra elements within that branding. Try and see if there's maybe shapes or photos, shadows or gradients that you can add to create some depth, add some extra visual interest that can really attract others to the visuals that you're working on. I would also recommend, like I said earlier, remember that clarity is still the number one thing that you want here. So you don't wanna to be too flashy and go kind of all out. I really recommend being a bit more subtle with the visualization that you're doing and how you're presenting that look and feel. So with that, let's go over some examples of my own work. So this first one is actually just the thumbnails that I make for these YouTube videos. 
So I try and do a good job of actually presenting these, really focus in on the thumbnail and what the video is actually about. So this was for the tools and apps for product design video that I released a couple weeks ago. For here, I wanted to show the apps that I was gonna be going over in that video, also give people a call to action with my YouTube link here at the bottom um, and even a play button. I know obviously it's not interactable, but just gives people an extra push to see, hey, this is a video that I can go watch. Let me see if I can go to this website and check it out if I'm interested. And then you can actually also see uh, what I was saying about being really subtle is I add these gradients here. And what I'm doing here is just adding a circle and just adding a blur to it in Figma and then just having some slightly different color variations or maybe there's like a blue or a pink or a purple that you wanna bring that really fits in with the look and feel of that product or image that you're presenting and it can really go a long way like you can see here with the yellow and then we have like a reddish pink here in the top left. Uh, very subtle, not doing anything too crazy but it really goes a long way um, as you can see on some of my other thumbnails with these. The next one is some product design work. So this was a mobile app that I worked on when I was at Mothership. I wanted to present this. With Mothership, we really have like a sleek kind of forward thinking feel. So that's really what I was going for with these mock-ups. Like I tried using a realistic mock-up, um, have this like sleek, dark look to it. Uh, our branding was mainly all black with green. So that's why I chose to do this dark background. And I think the dark background also really helps the white interface really pop and have some more contrast within those. So I did that and then also added like a subtle pattern in the background, which was a brand pattern. So that's where I got the reference and inspiration for that. Also added this green banner at the bottom. It has a slight gradient between the actual dark green and the lighter green that we use for our branding. Um, so just some small details. Again, really the subtleness really goes a long way in my opinion. This next one is some recent work I've been working on at Northstar, um, which just a heads up, I'm actually hiring designers. If you're interested, go ahead and check it out at northstarmoney.com. So for this one with the branding, I actually really wanted to use some of the patterns that we have at Northstar. So as you can see, I have these large shapes. Uh, the branding that we try and do is more fun and approachable and just more friendly. So I think these bigger shapes with the kind of subtle accents on here uh, really go a long way. We have some nice shapes, so I was able to just use that pattern, um, which are hinting to some of the branding and icons that we use within the app. And then I use this brighter, lighter green to really bring a lot of focus and attention to the dashboard. I remember when I was actually working on this, um, I was actually trying to do a dark background at first. And for one, it was blending in with the sidebar, but it also felt like the dashboard didn't pop as much and it didn't feel as on brand as it does with this lighter background. So. Just another example here. Another one, so this is a bit different. This is actually uh, for an ebook that we worked on at Northstar. So going back to my example of maybe you're working on a product like an ebook or some book that you're trying to publish, for example, I think it's in worth investing into a nice mock-up. I think this mock-up for me was like $19, but it's a good investment. Like it really looked nice. It, it was something that we could reuse for our marketing purposes. So sending out through emails, putting on our marketing site, for example, um, so it really went a long way and it looks great. Um, super realistic, looks just like a photo. So that's another way that you can actually do that for something that's not a product. And then finally is this uh, design system that I worked on at Mothership. So for this presentation, I actually laid it out uh, just normally like on top of each other. And then there's this plugin, I believe it's called Mockup uh, in Figma. And it actually helped me do this uh, isometric perspective. And then I just had the shadows and all the elements just be naturally that way. And then I, when I applied the plugin, it actually went to this layout and looks really, really nice. Um, this is actually one of my most popular posts on Dribbble. Um, so even here, you see I'm not, I'm not like giving into just visuals. Like this is definitely stuff that's uh, very useful and applicable to uh, real life design problems. Like I'm not just showing up some some random nice looking thing that isn't actually useful. I think having the clarity of your design and having the problem solving that you're working on kind of come through and really present that stuff nicely as well. Uh, I think there's a lot of ways to do that without sacrificing the usefulness. So I hope this video and the tips within it were helpful for you. Um, maybe you can show some examples of the work that you made um, and maybe some other tactics that you use in order to present your design work in the comments below. Let me know what was helpful, what wasn't. And just a final reminder that I do have a Patreon and also make music. So if you wanna check those out, be sure to check the links in the description below. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.
Bye.